Hello guys, in, this, in the last uh, video I have uh, discussed about uh, I have discussed how we can connect our website to a database and uh, if it is successfully connected then it will show something like successfully connected to database and the name of it okay so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a register button here and then we will allow the user to register um, some basic information like their account into our database okay so um, again make sure you installed SAM and make sure it is running okay um, we let's just go to our uh, database uh, PHP admin so um, the database I have here a tutorial and also in the previous video I'm showing you that I have created a table called user this table have nothing much it just have an ID um, with the int and then auto in increment and then first name last name or vacha 255 same thing for email and password okay so we got actually five color word structure so in this video we, we're going to insert the data of the user into the database okay so let's just uh, open our file um, so we have a very simple um, I have to repeat myself because I already discussed this in other videos we have a uh, image folder uh, with some image and include header folder uh, a database um, like last time we created for the connection okay we got local host root, root the database name is tutorial okay we do try and catch all right and this is our um, index file it's got the uh, required database at the beginning of the file all right so whenever we come to our website we will always see uh, successfully connected to the database uh, because we we want that just to inform us um, whether it has been successfully connected all right so the next thing uh, we want to do is to create um let's just go to the nav bar to the header okay the header first the header is a file that we include in the our index you know it's a separate file for the header only so uh, let's go to our nav bar here um, you see this is the form the form for such and I don't want that we don't need that for now um, I just want to link uh, something we call um, register.php uh, not necessarily uh, this one because we're going to do the user folder first so we have user and then register and register dot php okay um, same thing um, we don't you we don't do it now but I just want to add it like login um, today the focus will be on the register only so here we have a class um, that is btn uh, btn warning okay and it will be uh, for the uh, login class BT, btn btn success okay let's come back to see refresh it Yep, we're gonna type in the word uh, register here, and we type type in the word login here. All right, go back and refresh, and there we have our two um, button. Should uh, the login should do the launching lab. Just push it a bit. 
All right, cool. So it's a register and it's logging. Brilliant. Right, the next thing I want to do is create a walk with the register. So uh, we're going to create a, oh, not, not a file, it's a folder. We want a folder called user and we want a file within the user folder called register.php. Okay, for the register.php, um, we want to include the header and footer as well, right? So, digit.php, um, and then include user, um, no, not user. We want to go out of the uh, folder, right? And then we want to accept database. Uh, no, no, it includes this in a header. Okay, include in header. All right, and we're gonna copy it, and we're gonna pass it, and we got pass the folder. Okay, and um, we're gonna have a register here. So we're gonna have a container, and then we're gonna have a word um, register. Now let let's have a, a look at our website first. So here we click on register and uh, right we go, go right into the register if you look at the the link of the address you will see that we've got a user we got a tutorial as the main folder your may be different from me but and then we've got a subfolder called user and then a, fi a file called register.php what the next thing we want to do is to um just to make it text center everything text center and um, and then a class called register to for the whole section here register right and then we're gonna go on the form so for the form we first have the form action uh, register php okay that's for our form and always remember to have method Post because without the method post, it, it's not gonna work, All right? So we have input um, text, and we're gonna do symbol one placeholder uh, first name, okay? Placeholder first name. So we're gonna add a user to enter the first name in a class form control. Form control is a bootstrap class, you know. Uh, remember to include the uh, bootstrap CDN in your header so that so that we can use the form con the bootstrap class so that form control all right save it and we're gonna copy and pass several times uh, five time five time all right and to see the second we're gonna the last name the third one we're gonna have the email okay and then password and then for the last one we're gonna have it's not type it's not text but it's submit because that will be the button okay to for the submit so we just say register here all right, so it's and we need a class here. We should have a BTN BTN warning. Go out and check. All right, there we have it. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have a form. Um, everything looks all right except for it's too close together. We'll fix that quickly, but just for now. Um, the other thing very important is that when people click, when a user click on submit, we want to send all of the information from this form. All right, so we want to send it, and we need a name for each of them. You know, without this, it doesn't work. We need a name for the variable. So like we got um, f name, f name. That means uh, 
first name and perhaps here is it last name it's email uh, password and um, for this one as well uh, register all right the register is for the submit the submit button here okay so basically I think uh, we have set up for the uh, technical uh, aspects of the form is all right except for the CSS we can do a little bit to push it out a little bit um, so we can do that pretty simple we remember that the register is the class for the whole section so we just go to our header um, and go to the style uh, we're gonna have something called uh, register and then input uh, for the input we're gonna have type text all right so we, we will target the input text not the button but we're gonna text then we're gonna push it a bit so margin bottom uh, five pixel all right uh, let's come and check right it looks all right to me all right so into next video uh, we're gonna work with the the back end how what we do when what the uh, website would do when user click submit all right right now it doesn't do anything yet okay so thanks for watching hope um, see you in the next video